it's April from April's Home and today I'm here with my September grocery haul. I will also be sharing later in the month some of my fall pantry stock up. I'll be doing that separately, I decided. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick off the month with all of the fresh ingredients uh, that I need for my monthly meal plan for the month of September. This is largely a low carb grocery haul. There are a few carbs in this grocery haul, but not very many. This is the way that I've been eating for most of this year and I'm really, really enjoying it. So let's go ahead and get started on the end here with the veggies. I picked up some carrots and bananas and three packs of mushrooms. This will be in a creamy chicken and mushroom soup that I'll be making here uh, this week. Some green um, onions, celery, bell peppers, as well as a big bag of russet potatoes. I'm going to be baking up a big batch of baked potatoes for our family dinner for Labor Day weekend. And of course, I'll be sharing with you at the end of this video my meal plan for the month of September. And then for our uh, frozen veggies, I picked up some broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot blend, some crinkle cut carrots, some green peas. This will go in a green pea salad I'm also making for our Labor Day weekend. Um, some broccoli. I think I bought about three of each of these with the exception of the peas. I did buy four of those. And then also two bags of these delicious sweet potato puffs. I do occasionally love to have these as a side dish. I also bought three of the Green Giant Cheesy Rice Cauliflower and Broccoli. We really love these. It's a little tiny box, but it's just enough for a quick side dish for me and my husband um, during our weekday meals. And now moving on to some of our proteins here. We've got two bags of boneless, skinless chicken breasts, a bag of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, tonight's dinner which we're very excited about are these ribeyes here we got two big ribeye steaks uh, this was a order pickup so I actually didn't pick these out myself so we'll have to see um, how this goes usually I only order from grocery pickup um, pre-bagged pre-chosen sort of items and I go into the store to pick my own meat but I figured I would go ahead and give it a try they look really delicious. I usually get much thinner ones, but we will try thicker ones tonight. And then some 80-20 beef patties. We love those throughout the month. A couple packs of bacon. This will be going in our um, green pea salad. A turkey kielbasa for a sheet pan dinner. And then a whole bunch of hamburger. It was on a wonderful sale, so I was really happy about that. I picked up a bunch of that. And then I also got five packs of Johnson Field Brats. This will be the main protein for our Labor Day family dinner. Now moving on to the cheese category. I really stocked up on cheese. My cheese drawer was really super low. I had the other day I had just a couple of slices left of cheese. We enjoy cheese on our burgers as well as in a lot of different casseroles that I make. I've also been making a bunch of no bread um, chicken nuggets using this mozzarella cheese. You mix this mozzarella cheese in with some chicken as well as I put in Parmesan and seasonings and bake that up. It's really delicious. Even the grandkids enjoy that. So I needed more mozzarella, some Mexican style cheese blend. Then again, a bunch of slices. I got provolone, pepper jack, medium cheddar, Havarti, um, Swiss and baby Swiss and Colby Jack. I also found a recipe on Pinterest that I would like to try it is a roasted carrots and goat cheese. So I thought I would give that a try. I just bought crumbled goat cheese there for that recipe. And then two bags of Parmesan cheese for making sauces. And then one of our most favorite cheeses that we love to have um, as little snacks and things like that and cheese boards is our Ski Queen cheese. This cheese is absolutely delicious. If you haven't tried it, I would definitely give it a try. That's sort of a creamy caramely flavor to it. This is a blend of goat and cow cheese. It's really delicious so it's a even the grandkids love this. Everyone loves it. And then I bought three um, baby bell cheese. I love these for quick snacks in the middle of the day. Um, I love the new Monterey Jack flavor. That is wonderful. One of my new favorites. I also picked up the Gouda and the mozzarella. So some yummy baby bell cheeses will be all stocked up for snacking. I buy these for the grandkids when they're over for a quick side dish, these little diced carrots. That way I don't have to open up a full can or cook up a big batch. These are ready to go um, right on their plates as a good side dish for lunches or dinners. And I also get the sweet peas. I like to keep these in my pantry um, for them. I love that they're in these little individual smaller servings. 
I also got a block of medium cheddar cheese. This will go in our green pea salad. And then I picked up some whipped topping, some heavy whipping cream, our A2 milk, some more mayonnaise, uh, both the regular jar and the squeezable jar. And then I thought I would try this out. It's also new. It is a garlic aioli dip and spread. So that sounds pretty tasty. Super low on carbs. So this will be a really nice little dip to try out. I also picked up water. I only put one here, but this was buy two, get one free, I believe and we needed to restock some of our drinking water. So that is our grocery haul for September. Of course, we will be doing our fall pantry stock up and I will be sharing those videos with you as well throughout the month of September. I'm not sure if I'll do that as one bigger video or um, share them as I go to the various stores. I know that I'm going to be headed to Walmart as well as Costco and possibly Trader Joe's. I'm not 100% sure. It's a little bit far away for me to get there, but I do enjoy going in from time to time. So now I'll go ahead and share with you my September meal plan. Okay, so here is our September meal plan. And of course, today is Friday the 1st. We will be having a ribeye. I put sweet potatoes and broccoli, but I think I'm gonna swap out the sweet potatoes today just for a salad. I have a chopped salad in the fridge that I would like to use up. So ribeye with salad and broccoli. Um, Saturday the 2nd, turkey stir fry. On Sunday the 3rd, this is when we'll be having our Labor Day dinner with the family. I'll be having bratwurst, baked potatoes with all the toppings, a green pea and bacon salad, and some baked beans. And for dessert, we'll be having some molasses cookies. We love our molasses cookies this time of year. And let's see, Monday the 4th, we'll be having hamburger patties with salad. Tuesday the 5th, we'll be having a creamy chicken and mushroom soup. On Wednesday the 6th, we'll be having leftover soup. Thursday the 7th, we'll be having pot roast with carrots and broccoli. On Friday the 8th, we'll have taco salad fixings and there will be some nachos on the side as well for those who want that. Saturday the 9th, we'll have leftovers. Sunday the 10th, we are having a family birthday party. Monday the 11th, we'll have stuffed bell peppers. Tuesday the 12th, we will have loaded sweet potatoes. Wednesday the 13th, jalapeno pepper chicken bake with broccoli. I will be sharing that recipe um, here any day now, hopefully. Thursday the 14th, shepherd's pie with a mashed cauliflower topping. Friday the 15th, a beef roast with roasted carrot and goat cheese. So I've got um, some beef roasts in the freezer, and this is where I'll try that roasted carrot and goat cheese recipe. Saturday the 16th, we'll have leftovers. Sunday the 17th, we'll have pork chops with homemade spiced apples, sauteed onions, and Brussels sprouts, and an apple-themed dessert. I have quite a few apple desserts that I love to make, so I may even make a couple of those for that Sunday. I love apples in the month of September. Monday the 18th, we'll have chili bowls with toppings. Tuesday the 19th, we'll have a sweet potato sausage sheet pan dinner. Wednesday the 20th, we'll have mushroom burgers. Thursday the 21st, we'll have chicken tenders. I'm going to be buying more of the cauliflower, cauliflower chicken tenders at Walmart. We really loved them. The grandkids loved them. So we'll have uh, chicken tenders, carrots, and sweet potato fries. And on Friday the 22nd, we'll have a bacon chicken cauliflower casserole. On Saturday the 23rd, we'll have steak fajita bowls. On Sunday the 24th is my son's birthday dinner, so we'll be celebrating that together as a family. Monday the 25th is an autumn sheet pan chicken dinner, another fun recipe that I found on Pinterest that I'm excited to try out. Then on Tuesday the 26th, I will probably grab a rotisserie chicken and serve that with salad. Wednesday the 27th, cauliflower taco casserole. And on Thursday the 28th, a crock pot sweet potato stew. Friday the 29th, leftovers. And I left one day blank here and I put new recipe. I have been uh, looking at so many wonderful recipes, low carb recipes on Pinterest, and I have quite a few that I'd like to try out. So I'm going to challenge myself to make sure that I try uh, another new recipe here this month. So that is our meal plan for the month of September, as well as our grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at everything I picked out. I forgot to mention, I picked this all out at Safeway. It was $305. That was the total for everything here on this table. And this was a grocery pickup order. And again, later on this month, I will be sharing our fall pantry stock up. So be sure and come back for that. I hope everyone is having a wonderful start to their September. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.